Although uh, February 17th was a very happy day for the people of Kosovo as a day of independence for linguists in America and throughout the world, it was a very sad day when we learned that uh, Eric Hamp had passed away. He was a, a giant in linguistics and a uh, powerful force for the development of linguistics in America and across Europe uh, and down, reaching down into southeastern Europe, into the Balkans. He's best known for his work in historical linguistics, tracing the way uh, languages change over time, especially with regard to the Indo-European languages. But he also made contributions in uh, general linguistics and linguistic theory uh, as well. And a side of his work that is not as well known is what he did on American Indian languages, uh, where he uh, wrote uh, about the Algonquian languages and some of the languages of Mexico as well. Most relevant for his work, or, or for his memory here in, uh, in Kosovo, is his work on Albanian, which reached back over 60 years, uh, starting with field work that he did in uh, southern Italy in the uh, 19, early 1950s, which led to his dissertation on the uh, dialect of Vacarizzo in, uh, in uh, 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 southern Italy, the dialect of, of Arbresh, uh, Albanian spoken in southern Italy. At the time, he, uh, in the 1950s and 60s, he was not able to visit Albania, but he uh, visited every Albanian-speaking village in Greece and elsewhere in the Balkans and made careful notes about the, uh, the dialect uh, that was spoken in each of the villages. He uh, kept a, on small file cards <clears throat> at the time, he, he kept very careful notes about all of the words that he heard there. And uh, those cards are now uh, a treasure for uh, albanological uh, studies. Um, I don't know what else to say about him except he was, from a personal standpoint, he was uh, not, not uh, my teacher, at least not officially. I met him only after I had uh, begun to be, uh, to, to be a professor at, at, uh, at Ohio State University. But uh, he was a mentor to me and he, just about everything I know about Albanian uh, is the direct result of, of talking with him over a period of 30 years or, or so. That I, that I knew him. Um, <clears throat> he made contributions in Indo-European linguistics, especially tracing the history of, of various, uh, the various Indo-European languages. And he, it's fair to say that he wrote about every single branch of Indo-European with uh, great insight and, and acumen. He was especially fond of Albanian, and his Albanian uh, contributions are, are enormous, but he also uh, wrote a lot about the uh, Celtic languages and uh, Baltic languages, which are less studied, less well studied. Though he also contributed, uh, his contributions were enormous. He also contributed in some of the uh, better known languages, such as Greek and uh, Sanskrit and uh, and Germanic. Um, so he was he was a, a giant, and he was also a really really nice person. Very interested in helping. Uh, helping younger scholars, but also in promoting the, uh, the linguistic rights of, of the of minority languages. I think, um, and all in all, he was uh, yeah, he was he was really something. He was he was a president of the Amer of the Linguistic Society of America. So I feel very proud to be to be following him in that regard. Um, and he was a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences as well. His his list of accomplishments is, is enormous. His publications are, are, will be recognized as, as classics for, for uh, generations to come.